the last step of solving the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Now that we have the blue cross with the sides completed and the corners in the pos correct positions, all we have to do is flip up these corners so that the blue is on the top and the colors are oriented correctly without messing up the whole rest of the cube. Now this is simultaneously probably the easiest and hardest move at the same time. So let me explain. It's the easiest move because it's a move you already know. It's a move you've done a thousand times. It's, the hard, it's, pro, it's one of the hardest moves because it requires a lot of concentration. So let me explain. So the very second move, the, when you uh, orient the green corners, that's the move that we're going to do for this one. And we're going to do it over and over again until these are in the right spot. So I'm going to show you how that looks. What you're going to do, the same move you've done a million times, down, bottom, up, bottom. That was one. Down, bottom, up, bottom, down, bottom, up, bottom, down, bottom, up, bottom. Now I'm going to stop right there because you'll see that this is oriented correctly now. You need to make sure that you need to do all four pieces of that move, even if the cube is oriented correctly before you do that last bottom spin. So I have this oriented correctly now, but if you look, the rest of my cube is really kind of wonky. Do not worry about that. That's why this is kind of hard because it requires a lot of concentration. You'll also notice that I have not let go of the cube. You cannot turn the cube for this move. So once you grab it, when I grab it with my left hand, I do not let go. The next move is to turn the next corner to the upper right hand corner. Whatever it is, whatever side it's on, we need to put it in the upper right hand corner. So if I turn this broken, or not broken, this non-oriented piece here to the upper right hand corner, I still haven't let go of it with my left hand, and now I repeat that move. Down, bottom, up, bottom, down, bottom, up, bottom. Now you can see here that I'm pretty much done. That The last twist is always a little bit off. It's either one to the right or two to the right or one to the left, I suppose. But that's all it takes. So it's that same move that you learned in the second step over and over and over again until the, the piece is oriented correctly in the upper right hand corner and then you do not let go of the cube. You do not turn it like this and then work on this side. You keep your grip here and you turn the top to position that corner into the right spot. Sometimes you'll have one corner to fix. Sometimes you'll have three corners to fix. Sometimes you'll have four corners to fix, so it may take longer. But it's the same move and it's the same steps every time. Once you've got it, you should have a completed 3x3 cube. Congratulations.